doesn't make sense now. She just got They're not together. That is the father of her child. If you mention him and another woman, inevitably, she's going to come up. How come nobody thought about the sister? How come they just left her out there standing on her own? I will always defend her. I will always defend her on this issue. It was, how could you do that? You didn't have to do it that way. But to have a press conference and put his business, tacitly or otherwise, on Front Street, you didn't think about Nia Long at all. But you thought about the other woman who purportedly was white. And the one woman in this equation who was innocent and victimized was not the woman Ime Udoka was messing around with. It was Nia Long. She was the one screwed over. Even if they're not together. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel on this lovely Saturday. I hope y'all doing good. I hope y'all spending time with loved ones. If you have, you know, somebody around you that you want to spend time with. But I really hope y'all doing good. But anyway, let's just get into this little, um, let's just get into this little slick story. Um, honestly, I don't always agree with Stephen A. Smith. Sometimes the stuff he be saying out his mouth be giving me the side eye. But this is one of those instances I had to agree with him. Um. That little whole period with the news coming out about Nia Long being cheated on and everything with I'm a, I think it was I think he was her fiance. I they was either that was either her fiance or they've been dating for a long time and they got a, a kid together. Either way it go, when that whole little cheating scandal happened and everything, she uh came out and was saying that, you know, she was she wished that, you know, the people on the team show her grace and also kind of like let her know what was going on. And at first I was like, why would they let you know or, 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 you know, brief you on what's about to come out. But at the same time, I want to say if, if she was hanging out with these people, they definitely should have gave her a heads up. But then again, you know, a lot of people care about themselves. If it's not directly affecting them, they can care less. So I did feel bad for her, especially with this being public. And you never hear, hear anything scandalous going on when it comes to Nia Long. Nia Long been in the safe zone. She's one of those Hollywood figures that don't be in no mess. So it was just crazy that this happened. But it's kind of to be expected, though. Like, sometimes you just can't put past certain people uh past certain people things that um like this like this is one of those stories that wasn't unbelievable you know like the fact that he came out and did a little press and it's just like i i fully agree like it was no grace shown to her no respect shown to her um i'm glad that she responded in the way that she is because we never know how you'll react with something like that and we never know how she reacted when she first initially heard about it like she could have just went crazy ballistic um, but I, like I said, I agree with Stephen A. Smith 100%. How y'all feel about it? Um, was it worth Stephen A. Smith, uh, commentary on the situation or you think he should have just left it alone? But at the same time, somebody needs to come out and have a back. Like it shouldn't be to where nobody is saying anything in defense of her and her feelings especially her child because i think around that time also she was saying that she had to pull her kid out of school but yeah y'all i don't know i don't know i'm just i'm just glad somebody said something y'all leave y'all comments on this situation how y'all feel about it if not nothing let me know uh if you want me to talk about a particular story and then we can get on here and chat it up